All right, this video is going to walk you through how to add positives and negative numbers uh, using balloons and sandbags as your uh, model, as the thing that you're thinking about in order to get this answer and the, the thing to think about for why does these answers, why do the answers to these problems make sense? So we're going to think about balloons and sandbags. And uh, you've got this, you know, imagine a basket, you know, like, a, like one of them hot air balloon baskets. And attached to the basket are an infinite number of little, little, you know, like happy birthday balloons. An infinite number of happy birthday balloons. And those balloons are going to be the, like the positive numbers. And then also attached to, to that basket are an infinite number of sandbags. And those sandbags are weighing us down. We're going to think of those numbers as negative numbers. And uh, right now, every problem begins with this basket hovering at zero because the positive numbers and the negative numbers are kind of like uh, balancing out each other. And so the, cloud, the, uh, the basket is hovering in the clouds. And whenever the basket is hovering in the clouds, I want you to think of the number zero. All right. So we're going to begin. We're going to do this top problem way up here and the basket. So we're going to pretend this is the basket. And right now it's hovering at zero. And positive two means we're going to attach to this balloon, which I mean to this basket, which already has an infinite number of positive, infinite number of balloons and an infinite number of sandbags attached to it. So we're going to add to that two more balloons. So I want you to think of these as balloons because they're positives. Well, what do the balloons do? The balloons are going to raise us up. So we're going to raise up two units. So we're going to go up two. So now we're here. And then this plus, so we're going to add to that five more balloons because this is a positive five. So we're going to add five more balloons. Well, what are the five balloons going to cause us to do? going to cause us to go up five more units. One, two, three, four, five. So where are we in relation to where we started? Well, we started way down in, at zero, and we are now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the answer, not surprisingly, is positive seven. All right. Now we're going to start back over at zero. So we're hovering in the clouds. Our basket is hovering in the clouds. We've got negative two plus negative four. So we've got, remember, to our basket, we've got an infinite number of balloons attached to it, an infinite number of sandbags attached to it, causing the basket to hover at zero. Negative two are sandbags. And those sandbags, if we add two extra sandbags to this situation, it's going to cause us to go down two units. Add, now we're going to add four more sandbags. And those sandbags are going to cause us to go down one, two, three, four more units. So where are we in relation to where we started? We are now six units below the clouds, so we are now at negative six. We're going to start back at zero. Let's do this third example. Negative seven plus positive three. Well, negative seven means sandbags. That's going to cause us to go down. And then we're going to add three balloons. And that's going to cause us to go up. And let's see where we end up in relation to where we started. So our basket's hovering in the clouds at zero. Seven sandbags cause us to go down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven units. So we're down seven units. And then we're going to go add three more balloons, which is going to cause us to go up. So we're going to go up one, two, three units. So where are we in relation to where we started? Well, we started at zero. One, two, three, four. We are now four units below the clouds, which is negative four. And the last example, starting back at zero, we've got positive five plus negative eight. So positive five is balloons. Negative eight is sandbags. And so these positive five, this five balloons, is going to cause us to go up five units. 
and then the negative 8 is going to cause us to go, it's 8 sandbags, so that's going to cause us to go down 8 units. And so in relation to where we started, we are now 3 units below the clouds, which is negative 3. In the next video, we're going to figure out how to take this information and find a pattern so that we don't always have to think about balloons and sandbags because that's a little on the immature side. Um, but right now, we're going to think about balloons and sandbags to get the answers. And then in the future, we're going to look for a pattern.